Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and today we're going to subjecting ourselves to whatever the hell Maxor just came up with. This is going to be an incorrect summary of Cruelty Squad. I don't know what Cruelty Squad is, and honestly, does it matter? It's a Maxor video. His editing is going to cause me to have a migraine, because that has happened multiple times. I do this willingly, I don't get it either. More importantly, there's a link below to the original video. Hit it up, and let's get started before I talk myself out of it. I am genuinely serious about the epilepsy warning. <laughs> Okay, one, he's actually talking about epilepsy warning right off the bat. That's the In loving memory of Henry Kissinger, highest KT ratio in American history. Oh, God. I mean, it's not wrong for that motherfucker, but goddamn, man, right off the bat. Cruelty Squad is a profound and enigmatic self shooter that's very nice and respectable looking. Really, I'm the... really digging the look of this Roblox zombie. And out of deep respect for the source material. Oh, wow. It looks basically like every low budget shooter that's actually a AAA title now that's going for this aesthetic. I know it's actually a genre in its own right. Bolt Gun, for example. Haven't played, but heard it's great. I'm assuming this came out first and it's way more epilepsy inducing. Material. I will be editing a video that looks as beautiful as Cruelty Squad. Acid trip? No. This is going to be an acid adventure. Oh! Set in a Are those meat slot machines kicking out TV? What am I? Yes, they are meat machines. There's... What? I just... And the... I can't tell if this is his editing or if the game is actually this weird, and I'm terrified to find out which one it is. Set in a twisted and dystopian society known as capitalism, where landlord phobia is a thing. Really? He just put in the single first intro bleat from... I think that's a... I'm not a Breath of the Wild. Oh, I know that game. God Killing Star, I think? I might have the name wrong. Think of the past, and the value of human life has plummeted so low, it's negative. We play as an esteemed person of wealth, who is tasked with the assassination and suffering of anyone unlucky enough to be in the same room as me, but progresses to dark and sinister revelations that result in- Wait, that wasn't already dark and sinister? How the hell does this game have- I don't- what? The death of five separate gods. Okay, just randomly and killing gods, sure. Listen, I know this game can be a little bit confounding and difficult to interpret. The yeah. Just, it's so deep. But don't worry, I've played this game for hundreds of hours, and I still don't know what's happening. It's okay, what did he just have on screen? Tax the poor. Oh, yeah, rich guy saying that makes perfect sense. And I just... He's played this for hundreds of hours, and he still has no idea what's going on. My blood has gone woke? If we disagree politically, I am just going. Oh, yeah. So it's literally super fucked up, huh? What the hell? Nice music, though. I... Ah. Sorry. My obsessive brain is literally just going, I must find what he just threw in there. Divine Gorbino Restored? You are going on a... Did this actually happen? I don't... That's not an error in the image? It's a Maxor video. I should probably just accept it at this point. I honestly am not sure what part about this color scheme is Maxor and what part is the actual game. And that's kind of terrifying. So the game begins with our concerningly red protagonist experiencing wet when we receive a most unusual phone call. Hey, what's poppin' little incel? Ever think about playing God? Uh, no. Well, I oh do, my so listen up. We, we, we need to... Look, I know things have been... He actually broke character to make the reference Walter Wright. <laughs> oh, God. Hard after your lobotomy, which is why I feel comfortable giving you a gun. So, uh, welcome to the U.S. Marine Corps. <laughs> Just kidding. Of... Oh... I have family of the Marines. If they ever see me laugh at this joke, I will hear about it. Oh, no. Of course. We shoot people I'm for in trouble for this, money. so I should cut oh, it out. Oh, sweet. How much? <laughs> I didn't say your money. Your mission is to assassinate Wait, the how much is that? 
Made it. I'll just go back the fast way. Full money. Oh, sweet. How much? <laughs> I didn't say your money. Laughs in rich. 34 billion. Inflation sucks in the future. <laughs> oh, jeez. Your mission is to assassinate the business world's finest in increasingly deranged bouncy castles and, uh, alternate dimensions. Just, like, don't think about it too hard. What? Okay, but I've got one question for you. Can I watch the static channel? What? Um, yeah, I don't see why not. Oh, fuck. There's a yeah. static channel? Oh, of course there is. Life is cruel, episode one. I am Taking normal. The first step on our quest to literally eat the rich, we come upon the realization that, uh, this is what the game looks like. All the way down to the abnormally large picture frame that is present at all times. It also changes based. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. This picture. Ah, I bit my tongue. Ow. This picture frame around it is actually part of the game? I don't know why, but of everything in there, that's what would actually bother me the most. I, I like cleany wise and just just having that would legitimately make me have like a nervous reaction the entire time. Changes based on whether or not we have a soul. So if you die too many times, you will be disconnected from the light of God, cursed to roam the earth as a mass of writhing flesh. Also, I can uh, eat dead bodies now, so I guess they have good taste. This game's graphics are not just terrifying. <laughs> Okay, so it looks fucked up. It is fucked up. Just random cannibalism is a thing in game. I, I see why this game was the oh shit reaction. They're consistently terrifying, and there's no way of telling whether or not something has a deeper meaning or if the devs are just fucking with you. Be publishing. I have a distinct impression that the answer is always the devs are fucking with you, no matter what. This is a dark satire, I'm assuming. the 10 hour video essay on killing my landlord. I wonder what it could possibly be. Case in point, the reload mechanics require you to yank the mouse backwards like you have fucking conniptions. This what? represents how hard it is to do anything in this game. He's so like it's actually DVD really player. hard. Visiting the meat room, we uh, uh, why is there a meat Honestly, it's not so bad. It's always good to have more options for nutrition. Okay, we're going there. Room. What do you mean I can't reverse the process? I would like what? to go back now. Visiting the actual mission this time, we noticed that the rest of the game Wait, is... Wait, that was just random exploring? That, unlike a fun Wait, what did that say? Slurpcoin.com. Flipper bucks plugging my body into the... Bio... -cur I don't... And then it has like... Oh. This is... A, yeah. This is, this is one of those games where I'm going to take a wild guess here. Someone called the police to check on the people making it to see if they were all right. And the answer is probably no. No, they weren't. Fundamental level. You see, each mission has many different ways to approach, and all of them are completely fine and normal looking. Sometimes a mission will have you navigate the inside of a building, making your way downwards through many standard games. Do but doorway. Before it's a door made of doors. Back of the roof again. This this does. And of course, they put in the random reference. Oh dear, I don't know. Help me at all. My favorite part of this mission is definitely the gigantic meat shaft. No matter what you do, do not eat the pills that make you go upside down. Worst mistake of my life. You play this thing upside. That's an. I don't Okay, one, cool easter egg, two, if it's required, oh my god, no. This is, I can't believe this is what I'm going to say, but this seems like the most insane game Maxwell has played and reviewed yet. And he has done some things that are going to count as game. And that is just, I don't, wow. Episode two, live so in paradise. Pharma, a taste of their own medicine and devouring the evidence, we make our way into the most oh, organized yeah. neighborhood Incredible. in Houston, which just so happens to be shaped. See, that's not fair. I'm not sure how, but I'm going to pretend it's not fair, even if I know better. Like a pentagram. Welcome oh, to Paradise yeah. City, one of the most paradise city levels in the game, containing within it a myriad of fun destinations like the. I'm sorry. Were those just all Funko Pops? It is an entire room where the walls are made of Funko Pops and faces on the ceiling. It looks like stretched skin. Oh, that's... I think the most disturbing thing is I can think of people's backgrounds that are literally just walls of Funko Pops. So this actually is something someone would look at and go, huh, that looks like a good idea. 
Yeah. The church that was converted into a pizza store. What the fuck did Actually, that's the, that's a thing. I've lived in Pittsburgh. There's a lot of old churches there because dear God, when they say there's a church on every corner, they don't mean that as a joke. And a lot of them moved because there was a church on every corner for a hundred years and some of them never got fixed. So they were abandoned and now people have moved into them, fixed them up and turned them into pizzerias. I can think of three off the top of my head, two in Pittsburgh and one in Carnegie. It's actually apparently very nice and has a really good reputation. So that is a normal thing. This is normal. That said, it probably shouldn't be. Did they put in the walls? The Orphan Eviscerator, Child's Conception of What a Castle Is, The uh, Dark World, and The Accurate Recreation of Bin Laden's uh, Actual Compounds, which I immediately rammed into with my hun- Nope, not even gonna think about it. This is just, I don't- Day Sonata, so I can catch a bite with the big man himself. Driving very responsibly to the next target. Traffic jam? Well, I've never tasted it. We encounter the funny lady, whose pathfinding forbids her from entering the street. My guy Seriously? really does not want to jaywalk in this neighborhood. Just- So, they just randomly have- Oh, just, sure, why no, not? Uh, I guess she's gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> And now there's <laughs> killing the next man with his hands behind the ground. We move on to the just randomly eating most people. regular house in the neighborhood, as is evidenced by I'm the. Assuming uh, there's evil things in the base. Uh, what? K Y S. Keep yourself safe. Cons yurt site. Uh, that is What's that is oh. an interesting wallpaper. It makes me feel so protected and safe. Oh, looks like you've got quite the collection. Yeah. Ah, I see you've taken a liking to my fucker pops. No, I haven't. Amazing, isn't it? That they embrace me despite my flesh. For the packaging is eternal and pure. Uh, I will be as the lion and as the Nephilim. If you kill me, my soul will ascend to plastic. Are you okay, man? Rel <laughs> me from my corporeal flesh, and I will become as the fuck. Uh, sorry, buddy, that was a slippery slope fallacy. Yo, I'm gonna have what this guy's having. That, uh, oh, oh god, it was the upside down. <laughs> my entire world is. Wait, that's the first time he experienced that in game. And yes, I am very much distracting myself because everything else is legitimately hurting my sanity. This is the first time I've seen this in game. Oh god, it's more than one. So you actually have to find multiple to turn yourself right side up. Do they just randomly turn off gravity in one of these? My entire world has been, has, has Hopefully been, there's, there's not a play no backwards option. There, there is no fucking way. He just so fell off the map. If you keep falling for 10 minutes, the game uh, dislikes that. I got a real case of the heebie-jeebies. The rest of this mission is it really just kept fun. Going? Especially when I figured out I could sell the organs that I found. But I couldn't help but notice that something was a little bit off about the town catacombs. Every city there's catacombs? has to have one. So while getting inspiration for my next creepypasta video where Mario comes out of the pipes and kills me, we descend deeper through the bone zone yeah. into the the bone zone what did he just have okay no I, that was just too there are two people in the person the flesh and the skeleton what it's probably a reference to something i have no idea what that is zone and into the uh, oh it's oh, oh. oh no i'm going to have to play what okay this is really creepy the whole level like this aren't i just all dark. Epiphany three, the dark world. Life is cool. Hey guys, about the siren seems like a reference. Closed its eyes, known for its many visible landmarks like the eyeball sun or the transmission towers. Really big fan of the microwave ASMR that permeates the entire level. Wait, that wasn't him editing in. I thought that was just him editing it to make it creepier. They actually had it just buzzing the entire time i mean i'm never going to play this game and if i tried i would legitimately just not be able to do this it would hit every one of my nope buttons just don't play this at the very end of the game otherwise uh, i want god to come down and explain this to me this what? is actually giving me a migraine right now the so after fuck? killing people in the pitch darkness like the game is trying to oh that's an option at the end our way to the ominous glowing mansion where we can role play as american police by slaughtering the entire dark world population this is the shittiest game of where's waldo i've ever seen he's playing doom behind it of course he's playing doom behind it uh abyss ammo received that's Bye. Hey guys, Max here, and today we're going to be visiting the, the pulsating meat. Uh, I think this planet might be better without light. Uh, hey buddy, you know you can't just walk in here and kill people, right? 
It's a wall of skulls with a pulsating meat floor and a guy with no face except for a small condensed. Let's go with a grin. The weird part is if this was higher pixel count, higher polygons for the individual models, it would actually look less creepy. It is creepier like this. Probably because I've been conditioned to think that creepy posters are creepy. And yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that. Oh yeah, uh, says who? The police say that, actually. Oh, appeal to authority much? I'll show you an ad hominem attack. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. Ah, he actually knew what an ad hominem is and he used it correctly. And because it actually was an appeal to authority. Huh. Was not actually expecting that. Fool is full, episode four. Max sells out? So after escaping our banishment to the Shadow Realm, we journey to the headquarters of the Gamer Subs Corporation, where we can try their delicious energy drinks for a fraction of the price. Did he actually get sponsored to say that, or did he accidentally put in an ad read without getting sponsored? I don't know, and I'm kind of tempted to find out. But before we can do any of that, we There's need actually to a pool. forklift and use it across the ocean. I don't think Osho's uh, on board with this one. Howdy, it's not stranger. the dumbest thing I've seen, but... from around these parts, are you? That's okay. Me and my... Oh. I'm sorry, just the way the face moved, and I just realized this is mouths the entire time. How is the game so consistently creepy? And he has this... Is that life thing something he hit in, or is it just there in your screen the entire time? Oh. <sighs> Ominous friends in the sky. Love having oh, those were people. Humble abode, especially after bringing us an entire forklift. How did you? Never mind. There are many more fish in the sea after all. Not so with the forklift in there. Kill them all. Sturdy pole and practice the art of the Pisces to your heart's content. Uh, thank you. You just get attacked by a spinning worry. fish. We will be watching you every step of the way. I, I kind of don't want to fish anymore. You Find really shouldn't want to. Thoughts. I soon realized that each fish I caught was worth more than beating this mission, and that each of them has a speculative value on the stock market which i proceeded to trade on for the next 30 how many minutes not he spent half an hour fishing because it's more valuable than people i mean he did say early on people had no value anymore and he's been showing it they're literally just random bits of food not even corpse starch that's too refined can you just break the game by fishing at this point Actual stocks, mind you, just the fish. I even made a literal fish index fund. It's what the sky demons would have wanted. So we head back to the Gamers Ups link in the description, where we find a 10% discount on delicious energy products. Also, I just realized this game, which is mostly a shooter, also randomly has stocks in here, and there's an entire market aspect. I'm getting the distinct impression this is one of those games where the people behind it simplified it so that they could expand all the random bullshit around it, and it actually put a lot of thought into it. Products. And I kind of wish they had it. which comes in this cool powder, so uh, yeah, yeah, there's... don't store it. What the fuck is this? Also, you really shouldn't. There's people who have done that. It's a dumb thing because you get the caffeine load directly into your bloodstream. And it's not meant for that. It is legitimately dangerous. Do not do that. Also, because you don't actually get any flavor off it. Why, why would you do that if you don't? It's just... It's like, hey, free heart attack. Ugh. <sighs> Texture. Oh, oh no. Oh god, it's on the floor. These are all it's the updated satisfied customers. Along the way, discovering many amazing flavors like Sigma Brain, Grandpa and Grandpa's Ashes, or just a The worst part is I'm not even sure he's joking about that or not, because I've seen some of the bullshit that gamer stuff to put out. At this point, they probably should just do that. Yes, that is that, that is Joe Biden on the cover. Bad and naughty. Wait, that's the real one? Uh, that one really why lean it's probably a reference or a joke or something cool kids say so i will never know it children get made into the guacamole gamer fart flavor it's so cheap and affordable so after ascending the i'm just gonna try and regret or just ignore everything i just saw in the last 10 seconds that that was legitimately the most terrifying thing so far a literal corporate pyramid. We it's actually a pyramid. CEO for his devious role in the making of this video, leading us to be arrested by the police for all of the criminal deals you can find in the description. My life is EpiPen 5. Eat the police. 
At this point, you're eating everyone. 2024, the police have formed a self-serving cult who conspired to get away with the killing of Dark Walters. Now it's up to us to offer the police chief a 12-gauge diversity seminar who took so many steroids that he has transformed into a bouncy what? castle. Uh. This level is a borderline nonsensical collection of rooms where even the borderline because i'm going with very much everything as nonsensical already i'm looking at this and going nah it's fine i don't need to convince myself i was on illicit substances without actually taking anything because at this point it's just implied the slightest metal pipe bullets cavalcade to chase you down the halls like i've entered the scooby-doo isekai take for instance this is room scooby isekai I, am I interrupting something? I'm gunning down an actual bomb guard. Fuck the police? Eat the rich? Uh, no. Eat the fucking police. Are the Look, police? He actually ate no the police. The post office. Here we got the uh, basketball court. I uh, don't, There's a random basketball court in the guy with I huge head? I'm having a stroke. Here we encounter the actual brain tumor experience. An enemy whose primary attack is making the game impossible to play. I normally don't get motion sickness, but like, Jesus Christ. Let's hope the... I think his editing stabilized it here, and that's never something I thought I would say about Maxor. Can you imagine if you were playing this in like a big, expensive monitor, it's like super immersive, and then this thing just goes, okay, time for you to lose your guts. This is literally a game to punish people who have too good of a system. That's, I can't tell if that's genius or not. And I kind of like, respect, and hate it. And I'm, I'm not sure which one is the primary feeling there. The next level has a really cool enemies that are equally as fun to play against. What? The knife is tool? Mall madness? So after what? deflating the police chief, we are sent to the shopping mall so we can befriend the president of the United States. Oh. Along the way, visiting the many benefits of modern consumerism, such as Why? the punishment Just... store, which sells the amazing cubes that cover the entire screen. The Wait. The punishment store was cubes. Oh, the cubes were people. Of course they were. The game E, which sells a realistic depiction of a panic attack. Man, I would kill for a copy of Garbino's Quest. It what? is the world's only video game. Oh, well, guess I'll have to go to the gun store instead. Uh, why? Don't come to the mall tomorrow. The pizza cathedral slash wallpaper store. The other punishment store, what? which sells the uh, Funko Pop. A bit on the nose, but perfectly acceptable. The plant shop do be having plants escaping into the mall and Okay, them. random plant it escape. Only a matter of time. It's Gun and cool gear, aspect. which seems to be a... What did I uh, say about coming to the mall? We need to get out of here. And of course, Donut World, which is filled with the police officers. Needless to say, this level is really big, with a variety of routes Whoa. that don't really result in your death as much as guarantee it. My favorite example being the, uh... The what? Hey there. Oh, it's oh, a God, giant skull the cop. The noise is just so terrifying. But that's actually uh, in the game, that noise? Uh, I guess I'm safe. No. Uh, I don't think he's a... He's, uh, uh, is he too big? Can he jump? Oh my God, he's still making that sound. That's Drop a... games, games only. Wait, that's actually something... You know, I keep thinking this is Max or just randomly editing something in, but no. Apparently, most of the time, this is him doing that. No, not him doing it. It's like the game doing that and him just leaving it in. Drop by Games Games only to find out they're all out of Gorbina Quest. Do you know about artificial scarcity? To find out they're all out of... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he, he found my address. Is everything God. okay, buddy? Wait, so where did he say his address was? Uh, no, it's not real, but he had to put some uh, kind of joke in there instead. He, he found my address. Big Boba Fishing Dock. <laughs> Big Boba Fishing Dock. Lindenburg, Massachusetts. Wait, there's... You know, I'm actually hoping that's a real place. Because that would be amazing. <laughs> it's kind of like some of the names in the UK that are um questionable. Let's go with that word. That's that's a YouTube safe word. Is everything okay, buddy? Oh still god, he's still hit you. Around my enemies Is that a freaking RPG? Carefully. I think he's a, a little stuck. We dispose of the presidential Evangelions and oh, secure the big Biden on campus. Oh. This is where he tells us his amazing plans to impose a 1% income tax and stop turning the water into fry oil, which I have to say is really landlord phobic of him. When he says something so wealth phobic, you gotta hit him with that CEO stare. Also, fun fact, God. if you head outside the map, they just uh, put Elon's There's face There's actually an outside of the map I section that they code that. in. Exiting the level, we notice that the friendship of the president... Okay, what the hell was... Is that thing he just put on the screen briefly? You know what? I probably shouldn't do this just because, yeah, I regret everything. I don't know what that is.
I'm just going to move on. That that's just no. The friendship that's a no for me. of the president has caused the stock market to exponentially increase with no upper limit, causing my fish index fund to increase in value indefinitely. I uh, would invest in GameStop, but it has uh, become a side wave. Very. Gaga is going infinite. Now you've done it. You freaked it. You fucked up. You what? And he has the total holdings. Almost a million. So yeah, there's just a random. I just realized he's literally just doing this, but there's massive inflation, and he said it was like 34 million or something. I don't just what the, I don't. What are you doing in this game? Like, what is legitimately happening, other than just trying to make people hate themselves for engaging with this? Is this a game that's considered something intentionally bad? Is this the room of games? It would have competition for it, but I think this one might be doing it intentionally. I'm not sure if that makes it better or worse. Very, uh, very volatile prices. So to maximize our earnings, I decided to get up from my computer and eat dinner. And when I came back... Okay, I actually, want to look at that. Is that actually his fish tank? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was it? You said eat dinner? I actually want to see what his fish tank was, because that looked really cool. In GameStop, but it has a become a side wave very uh very volatile prices so to maximize our earnings i decided to get up from my computer oh kitty where's the money <laughs> tuxedo looking asshole oh cute kitty and whoa that's actually a really cool fish tank i'm assuming this is just maxors or do they just have a random aside about this in the game You know, with how weird this has been so far, if someone told me this is actually just a cutscene in-game, I would believe them. That is a really cool fish tank, though. Dinner, and when I came back, I had accrued the funds to buy everything Did in the you? entire game. Uh, I feel like this counts as some sort of tax fraud. <laughs> tax fraud is like that. Oh my god. So, after buying all the game's upgrades before the government can tax me... I'm sorry, what did that say? Meat suit? CSIJ level V bio suit slot chest a suit of writhing flesh that wraps around you and seals you in extremely good protection with no immediate apparent downsides this ruins the game even more than that oh oh those are all things that change how the game looks what the hell Please don't buy these upgrades genuinely. Oh, because it reduced the entire... Oh, it seals in the... So you're seeing everything through the intro and it literally reduces the entire frame of what you can see and he bought all the upgrades. This is literally a don't do it moment because you have a lot of options that are horrible but give you a lot of advantages. So buying the buff might actually be a challenge run because it makes it so unplayable. Government can tax me. We head back to our unassuming abode to unwind and watch my favorite YouTube channel. Pick up the fucking phone. Uh, but hello? 95 counts of market manipulation. $5 Only 95? million dollars in untaxed earnings. 2 billion counts of rape. And you somehow managed to buy an onion future. Wait, what? The trading of onion futures has been banned in America since 1958 because one person bought every single onion in Chicago. Oh, considering the time period, that is a little later than I thought it'd be. Honestly, I thought that would be sometime in the 30s and the 20s. Huh. Oh, shit. There are federal agents outside your house, so if you want out of this shit, you're gonna have to earn it. Okay, but, uh, oh, can I shoot my landlord? <laughs> is he gonna say what? yes? Sign? This has nothing to do with my rent. I'm just, I'm just taking the opportunity. <laughs> CEO grind set. Ah, just evicted another six rentoids. 18 if you count the children. Can't believe so many single mothers could fit in the same room. Also, I'm going to be uh, adding a 300% visitation fee to your rent. Unfortunately for this man, yeah. I am a dedicated Maoist. My actual landlord is going to swap me after he sees this. Oh, this God. This apartment is certainly very complex, both spatially and geopolitically on account of... And ironically, if Maxor had a landlord who was aware of this, of his channel in general, they would probably already never ask him questions out of a sense of self-preservation. You, you just, you wouldn't. <laughs> because any answer you get might legitimately make you just want to go and say, Oh, huh, I have discovered nihilism.
the ominous towers in the distance, with most hallways either yeah. leading to a maze of wonder and mystery, or just taking you straight out of the top floor. Uh, so this is certainly a room. It's Every a room apartment of doors. has one. Life, uh, life, life has many what? doors. What? The wall's doors? What? We did it, guys. And, we and, and, found and, the doorway. Ah, uh, cool. It's, uh, two uh, normal towers. But worst of all, this... Did he just randomly drop in Metal Gear? Yeah, I think he did there. Sure the makes us interact there. with our neighbors, which wouldn't be bad if the level didn't sound like this. How about we just... Wait, that's actually what it sounds like? Ugh. <sighs> Go talk to this guy. What the fuck? This guy's got fascinating things to tell us about. I don't think I'm, I'm allowed to repeat this one. Oh, well, you got me. I am a dedicated Maoist after all. Don't worry, fellas. He's just writing a tweet. Very black uh, suppository. Yeah. And Standard Twitter defense. follower. Oh, he was uh, keeping a slave. Yeah, that makes more sense, actually. So we get away with a minor misdemeanor and what several the dozen fuck, deaths. Man. Then move on to get some fun and relaxation on the high seas. Hey, hey sorry, buddy. That was a uh, funny prank I just pulled. Uh, 49 people are dead. It turns out tax Only fraud's 49? been legal for 10 years, so uh, no hard feelings. Wow, I guess rich people can get away with anything. We prefer... Wait, what did that say down there? I guess we should... Pretend that I am in the cruise ship because he's just using the image to see himself. Yeah. <laughs> we prefer the term Ugh. people of wealth. Now, if you're ready, uh, let's go kill some rich fucks. Strife is cool. Opposite eight. Booze and cruise. Welcome to the world's most beautiful and secluded getaway, where there are no authorities to hear your screams. And screaming there will certainly be, as half the population of the ship is actively begging for death. What is... Genius. Oh, they're actually screaming in multiple languages, and... Oh, you can see how his face is just stretched on the less detailed body, and... Oh, like a... Oh, it's... This is literally the dark zone, but they don't have the faces glowing. They're just super pinched. Yeah, I can see why they're screaming. Yes, right here. I think their microphone is broken. And while we're on the subject of begging for death, it's time to talk about what I spent all of my insider trading on and why it was what? a really bad idea. You see, Cruelty Squad allows us to purchase a number of upgrades, but most of these upgrades are objectively bad. We've got implants that slightly change the game's contrast and transform me into a fucking goblin. Spend one million dollars to ruin the game. Use a radio to play any song from this game's amazing soundtrack. Uh... W That's what? actually Is one this of what the options? kids call a uh, slurp core? We have lost the ox privileges. Ruin the game with increased contrast. Bring the dark world into every world. And completely break the game by swinging outside the map and killing the target through the floor. This amazing- That one actually might be kind of fun feet of game design is only possible with an augmentation known as the Grapendix, which, what? true to its biology, uh, randomly kills you. The Grapendix. Okay, one, I just want to go back. Is that... Did you really just add an umbilical cord? Okay, also, I have no idea what anime this is from. Grapendix allows you to attach yourself to walls, attach yourself to ceilings, trampolines, people on the street, and of course, uh, the bullets that you fire, transforming the game from a quirked up stealth shooter with a little bit of swag into the Mach 5 nightmare that I have always wanted to play. And yeah, that is actually, that seems like a challenge run thruster, version. Which, by emitting a disgusting amount of goo at a disturbingly high speed, completely Ew. bodies any sense of pacing or level design. And it's the best Might actually be kind of fun. Just, uh, be careful on the way down. Uh, what? Okay, do, so do I need to censor every this? Level just has a room like this. No, it's just like a real cruise ship. So after collapsing the nearby pool, you know what? I kind of don't want to see what it is, but I just want to. What? What was the image? He, he just shoot out the. I don't. Sweet life on deck and Mister Mosby kill. Oh my God! Why? So after collapsing the nearby pool by you flying just into pool. it, this fucking guy just uh, doesn't give a shit. We gamble Milk everywhere. Our life savings for a little too long and have to pick up all the coins individually. Ninety percent of players uh, quit before they make it big. Better, better keep gambling just to be sure. Oh no! At this point, I thought I was going to finish this in one go. And <laughs> no, we are stopping here because I have literally reached the point where my mind is just shutting down. I'm looking at this going, it's not just the flashing lights. It's just the sheer overload of what the fuck. And for good reason, because all I am looking at this is going, what the actual fuck, man? It's insane. Every time it gets weirder, I'm thinking it's something he added it in to make it insane here. But no, it turns out to just be part of the game and the design is absolutely insane. 
This is literally someone who created this going, hey, how fucked up can I make this? And make it kind of just stupid. I think it's a satire. But at the same time, I can see someone doing this as like the most demented troll of the audience possible, which admittedly, I think a lot of satire is when it's done a certain way. But oh. and the biggest evidence is definitely the items brought up that are actively ruining the game because like, hey, here's a thing you won't have any problems with. And it just shuts off being able to use the picture. Yeah. Basically what I'm saying is I'm going to just go and like stare at paint drying to just take down the levels of what the fuck running through my head right now. And I'll probably get back to this in who knows how long when I can bring myself to just go through this without thinking I'm going to start developing epilepsy because at this point that seems like the safety option. Otherwise you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up if you, you know, don't value having sanity, but you're here, so I'm assuming you don't already. Do that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.